I know during the waiting it's hard. And I know that our timeline is so different from God's. Because God is eternal, 10 years for us seems like a lifetime when it's nothing to Him. And sometimes I wish God were a little more aware of how long things seem for us, but He is aware. He knows all things. He created us with the perception of a beginning, and we try to perceive what it would be like to have no end, like eternity. Do you ever start thinking about heaven, how it will never end? Does it kind of blow your mind? Yeah, because we were created in a world where there seems to be a clear beginning and end. But God is without limits. But he knows it's hard for us to understand. And in his grace, I think sometimes he speeds things up just a little bit more. He knows exactly what we can handle, but he also knows what it will take for us to say, I can't handle it anymore. I need you. That's that point he's waiting for with us. I know during the waiting it's hard, but here's your key to joy. Psalm 16, verses 8 through 11, David the psalmist wrote, I have set the Lord continually before me. That's where our focus needs to be during the wait, our mental state. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. That's our emotional state, our emotional stability. You will make known to me the path of life. That's our assurance. In your presence is fullness of joy. That's our comfort. And in your right hand, there are pleasures forever. That's our hope and our legacy. Do you believe that? as you live within his embrace, as you find in him your island hideaway, as you're trusting his plan for your life and trusting his promises and trusting his timing, you will be able to say, in his presence is fullness of joy. doesn't matter what's happening. In his presence is fullness of joy. That's what it means to trust him with the story of your life no matter what's happening. 